Now there is a view for you. Look at that sunrise. 6 a.m. It's time to shine, rise and shine. Ooh, it's chilly out here. I got the bulldozer down there. I'm headed down to go fire it up, go start grooming the track. Get the Saturday going. Yeah. Oh, look at this sunrise. I usually don't get up this early to watch sunrise, but here it is. Enjoy it. Take it in. There she lies, ready to go. What a morning. What a day. This is like the basic Canadian morning. Tim Hortons, GoPro, me. I never get up at 6 a.m., but it's pretty nice at 6 a.m. It's not bad. Let's get this thing fired up. Starts like a charm, purrs like a kitten. Let her warm up for a few minutes and get at her. Glad I finally brought this thing in this year. You know, it's been pretty damp down here, mainly in like this spot and up by the woods, but she's finally dried out. So now we can get rid of all the weeds, do the old annual inspection, the old annual conference call, get everything scraped up, peeled down, looking back to normal. Get those cars ripping. Brad really wants a car trail or a car track, so. I'm going to see what I can find over by the big double, maybe build them like an oval track or something in the lines of that. Maybe build them a little one foot jump, get them, get them a little excited. So yeah, should be warmed up in a couple minutes there. That'll start ripping and uh, do a little time lapse on the GoPro and uh, yeah, get her going. That's the people going. I have way too much energy for this time of day. Working good. The old 650 last year was better. This is just a 450, but she pushes dirt. So I just touched up the berm, kind of brought all the dirt this way, peeked up the corner again, found the tire. Uh, yeah, let's just keep on keeping on doing the makeover. I think I'm gonna head straight over the car jump, get that done and over with, push some dirt up into the freestyle ramp, and then Derek should be here at noon. He'll probably take care of everything else. So. Keep on pushing and uh, see what we can find. Maybe some more tires. Well, you know what they say, nothing's ever big enough, fast enough. So the old car jump, we added a bit of an addition for a few more feet on top and a little longer. Can't make it too long because the whoops are there and we don't want it jumping over the tabletop. Anyways, I just peaked it up. It will pack down a little bit, but hopefully not too much. And I made the track wider too and pushed the top a little higher. So. Hopefully we can beat 75 feet this year and have the cars sending like way up here. Boom. So I'm excited and I like jumping cars. So just about finish this and then I'm going to head to the rest of the track. It's uh, at 8.13. I've been out here a couple hours. So. Progress is going well. Let's keep at it. Another berm down. I kind of just pushed it way in because over time, you know, berms get pushed out with all the roots and everything. So yeah, I brought it in. Just freshen up this little single. I'm just going to freshen up this one, maybe push it in a little bit and tighten up this line because everyone only does one line through here anyway. So do that. And then I think I'm going to head over to the freestyle ramp and freshen that up, maybe make it a little taller, a little steeper. And should be good to go. Just killing it out here. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Just pushing all that dirt to the top of the freestyle ramp here. What time is it? So it's 10 o'clock. I built a little rally track over there. Brad wanted one for the cars. I figured it's probably a good idea. So, yeah, I gotta do about another hour. Then I gotta go pick up Derek from the airport. And uh, he's gonna take over. So, try and get all this pushed up and then I'll get out of here. Alright, look who we found. There he is. Made look, it. Where you been? Where you to? I don't know. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Over there. <laughs> over there. <laughs> Before that. Oh, it's uh, Baratune. <laughs> Baratune. <laughs> Way north. <laughs> you know, over there. 
shows up with a backpack and a case of beer. It's a hard life, eh? Oh, yeah. All right. You're looking pretty good right now, though. <laughs> I feel pretty good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> Let's get back to the track, see what we can do. Couple diesels in the old tank. Diesels? No cell service. Typical down on the track. Can you hear me now? Yeah, pretty good, you. Fresh weapon from Godridge. Just being delivered all the way to Marathon, Ontario, Canada. World. World. Universe. North America. North America. Got the 632, the dozer, and Matt. With the Magnaflow. It's almost a 624. <laughs> Is that a Magnaflow? Oh, yeah. That's the high flow. <laughs> the cherry bomb? You're going to send it. I'm just going to send it. You're going to send it. Might as well. bucket on her. Like, hey, why not? Well, let's see what we can do. Tracks coming together well. We got the jump. Sandy, you ready, you ready to jump this? No. <laughs> <laughs> got the old Pontiac. And those are going. So it's coming together well. Drying up quick, that's for sure. Riding red. Look who we got. The famous legendary. 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 Fresh track, no one's even touched it yet. Oh. Taking the virginity. I'll touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. Well, after about 25 hours of running dozer, we finally got the track done. I finished at 4 a.m. the other night. It was pretty dark and foggy down here, but I chewed up all the grass, all the mulch, flipped it over, made some jumps, packed it down, did all the fun stuff. That jump was real fun. It was just all grass. So, Bless and Justin are here right now. Well, actually, all the Justins are here right now. There's too many. Two Justins. You never know. Sometimes it's the Mats, sometimes it's the Mark, sometimes it's the Justins. So, we're going to go for a little walk around, show you guys the track. And uh, it's actually raining right now, and you know. We're fair, fair wear of the riders, so we're not riding. We're gonna go jump cars instead after, but yeah. Nice little corner here, pretty fancy. After the, all, uh, over the years, all the berms moved back like 10 feet, so I basically pushed them way back in. Got them going again, right, Justin? Yeah, it's all about the pushing. It's all about pushing. Bit better view up here. I uh, cleaned up the ski jump, redid the whole landing, added added some height to her as you can see she's getting pretty worn out you know the rain kind of drags all the dirt back down so picked up the jump a little bit shortened the step down where i almost killed myself last year so it's not so death applying this berm i pushed in about five feet nice bowl turn picked up that jump a little step up pretty fancy see if we can get less to hit the Seat belts. What else we got going there? I made my first set of whoops ever. We'll see how those turned out in a minute. Uh, what else we got? A couple corners. Normal big double, car jump, whoops. Yeah. Let's go check out the whoops, see how they turned out. These are the, the whoops I made, but they're actually just a big rhythm section. And apparently a giant rock we haven't taken out yet. How's it going down there, Justin? Not so bad? Not so bad. Well, ladies, how was the first ride? Raining though. Mystical? Yeah, mystical. Magical? It's definitely brand new. It needs broken, for sure. <laughs> needs beat it up a little bit? Yeah, I gotta... Yeah, she needs <laughs> to get rained on. You're doing pretty good out there. Yeah, just... The jumps are hard to time when they're brand new like that. Yeah, yeah it's so fresh. Yeah. That's good. Just mushed down a bit. Yep. Mushed. 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 Could use some back blading in some spots. It's rough, right? Because like, when you first doze them, you think it looks fine the dozer when you ride them. Every little clump you feel. Like the big ones. <laughs> Couple. But nothing like rain and some tillage. Yeah. Yeah. Couple hours. So right now we're just uh, packing down jumps. You know. They're still pretty loose from the bulldozer. So I figured we took the old G5 out and just pack jumps. Why not? One in Rome, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
This is pretty aggressive though. It's like twice as big. Oh yeah. This thing is gonna fly. We should almost put a drain tile right in there. I don't know, we should. We should do a lot of things. Probably not gonna though. I think my dad's got some drain tile in his garden. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd say she's pretty packed. Top of the world up here. What do you think? I'm just taking it all in. You just gotta accept it. Take it all in, let it marinate. Look at that. Yep. Look at that dirt. Look at the G5. No. Just lined up. The dirt is like mint right now. Oh, it's so tacky. Couple couple oh, raindrops no, there. No rain. Yeah, it stops raining and they're they're heading home now. Anyways, yeah, that's the uh, the new track, freshiness. We got lots of videos coming for you guys. I think we're gonna wrap this one up and Go send one of these cars. Send it to the moon and back. Thank you guys for watching. Justin, suggestions? Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Watch more so we can do more. Yeah, watch more videos so we can make more videos. Anyways, enjoy the videos at the end. Enjoy the links below. Enjoy oh. smacking the head, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later.